Hey, what is up, guys? Akhil Shir back with another video, and today we are gonna take a look at an amplifier. We are gonna make a DIY video of an amplifier using an LM three eight six IC. Uh, we'll use this amplifier in a future video of how to make a mini portable speaker. So, taking a look at the circuit diagram, let's draw it. Oh. If this is the IC right here, we have this as the LM386 and we have four pins on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have a groove right here for the identification of pin number one. So we will take a look at it right here this is the groove and so this is pin number one now taking the pin out of this the first pin goes empty so there is no connection on first pin the second pin will be connected to the ground the third pin will be connected to a resistor say R1 and in series will be connected to our positive input input positive this will be our audio input the fourth pin right here will be also connected to the ground the fifth pin will be connected to a capacitor say C1 with its positive side here and its negative side here and in series will be connected to a speaker say S1 this connection will go to the ground and further we can also add filter caps right here so that the audio is clear this is C2 this will be positive right here and negative right here the sixth pin the sixth pin goes to VCC the voltage supplied to our amplifier both these pins are also not connected as the first pin so further checking out the uh, values of the components used firstly R1 the value of resistance 1 is 10 kilo ohms we can also make this as variable so this arrow comes in here due to this we can uh, change the volume of the audio coming out from the speaker right now we will put it as fix as 10 kilo ohms taking the value of C2 C1 uh, we will have this as 220 microfarad cap uh, now for the S1 we will have 4 ohm 3 watt speaker this speaker like this is pretty easily available in any computer scrap computer uh, speakers so this is 4 ohm 3 watt this works perfectly fine in this amplifier for the battery purpose we can use a 9 volt battery or we can use 5 volt battery it works fine in between this range perfect and uh, for the audio input if we have the auxiliary port like this this is a single channel amplifier so what we'll do is connect these two pins together and this will be our ground so the connection of these two pins will go into here and the this third pin will go into the ground so that's the basic architecture of the amplifier now let's move into the lab taking out the practical application of this amplifier so now as we are in the lab we'll connect the circuit according to the diagram we have drawn and i'll time lapse the connection window and then later on describe the circuit So we have connected the circuit, explaining it to you briefly. We here have this IC, let me bring down the circuit diagram also. Here we have the IC, 
uh, there is the resistor the green one right here this is the resistor the audio input coming in from this black thick wire into the resistor the blue wire is the ground one and the red wire is the positive one the positive one battery is supplied using this wire to this terminal here we have connected this bigger capacitor which is of 220 uh, microfarad that's the series capacitor then we have connected the speaker wires using these alligator clips in the IC the small filter cap also connected the net connection gone to the ground and that's it of the uh, connection part let's try and play some songs on this let's press it together and that works awesome the sound the volume is so high that if i bring it near the mic the quality is also good i'll have to lower down the volume in normal speaking and using this we will make an amplifier uh, the speaker portable speaker as the volume is too good and the 9 volt supply this is the sound we achieve uh, when we solder this uh, thing down we can have a circuit somewhat like this let's lower down the volume of the speaker from my laptop and so this is the main filter cap the resistor the IC the 7386 and the header for connecting the audio this is a part of my project so that's the basic idea we'll uh, make a circuit of this and embed it inside a speaker <laughs> 